Look at that leech. Oh wow, that's a nice one. Oh, wait, what are you doing? Look at that. That is a nice one. That's a walleye leech there, baby. That's a good one right there. Sweet. You get him? I got him. Look how cool he looks. All right, cool. Go back. Look at him go. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> What's up, Yens guys? Welcome back to day seven, the final day of our Canadian vlog here in Northern Ontario on Lake Beatty. <clears throat> the weather is warming up. We got the sun out, it's warmer, there's not a whole lot of wind, so we are very hopeful for a day that could consist of a big fish. So with that said, we got Dan here, who's gonna get our tackle, got all of our gear ready to go. I got the old school hat, this hat, I've caught a lot of fish in this hat, so I reverted back to this hat this morning, and we are gonna go after it and see if we can't get it done. One last day, last chance, big pike, Northern Ontario, let's go. Took all week, but the bugs are out. Thermocell action. Coo, 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 coo. Is that how it goes? Casting bite's been non-existent. Jerk baits, rattle baits, crank baits. Thinking maybe these fish are up in the grass. Like, like I said, they're, the fish are probably 15 to 20 feet up on shore. They're, they're sunbathing. You know what's funny? Is I watched this fish follow me in and I was like, I don't know if that's a fish or not. It's a walleye. Yeah. He came up so lethargic. lethargic and I was like, is that a fish? And I'm like, that's a fish. And I just, all I did was figure eight the lure and he just came up from right below it and hit it. But he hit it so lethargic. Fish, yeah, I was twitching it. I mean, I, like I said, he hit it right on the God, I'm casting. That's a pike. Vader? Nice. There you go. You're on the board. No skunks. There you go. Nicely done. He's about 26. Nice big fat. My measurements must be off. Nice. Nice big. Well, I got a pike today. Fish. a nice one that's on a talon yep nice job Nicely done. Nicely done. Well, 
Working a raptor, eh? Ian's gonna get all the way to Canada to catch pike, and Ian's kid caught pike at Quaniot. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. All right, Ian's guys, quick update. We've got what, four hours of fishing left? About, we had to get back to the dock a little early, get cleaned up, get these boats cleaned out, and get ready to get picked up for tomorrow. So we're down to our last three hours. Dan, you've had two pike today. Got two pike, one decent mid 20s, and I've got one pike and one walleye. Pretty rough, <laughs> but at least we caught fish today. We lost our depth finder, what, about a day and a half ago? Batteries died yeah, on that. Batteries went dead. So we haven't had a depth finder for the last day and a half to two days. Basically, you know, reasonably priced, awesome, awesome water up here. You guys just got to be here at the right time. We were a little bit early, and that's really what this trip is kind of summed up to. Otherwise, it's been really fantastic. It's been a lot of fun to come out here and fish with Dan. It's been beautiful. We've seen some good wildlife, a lot of beavers, muskrats, bald eagles around here. There's a lot of moose. And we got to see a couple black bears on the way up. So all in all, this was fantastic. We're going to keep fishing here, see if we can't get another fish in the boat before we get to head in and clean up. So... We'll check in in a little. Fish on! Fish on! What is that? The, oh, that's the uh, Super Shad. Nice. Woo! Got him! Got him! That's number what for you, four? You're having a banner day, four fish. Oh, that's good, oh no, it got off. That's a loss, I didn't get it out of the water. Oh I no, oh no. Huh? I said, oh no. Number two, that's not Son of a gun. <laughs> Come on, baby, one more Canadian kiss. Give daddy a kiss. Give daddy a kiss. What, what were you saying? What did you want? We want 30s. What? Mid 30s, even a 40. Let's go, baby. Give us a kiss. I figured since we're down to the last 15 minutes of fishing. One other thing I'd like to do before I leave here is see Bigfoot. So we're gonna get Dan to do a Bigfoot call. <laughs> no Bigfoot call no. From Dan. Whoop! 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 There it is! He did it! Whoop! Yeah, Bigfoot! Woo! Woo! Go, 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 go. <laughs> one, a one time deal. The fat lady is what, Dan? What was she, how is she warming up? How, oh, was that, uh, no. Galashad hit bottom. Oh, la, 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 <laughs> la. Cool. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. What's up, Ian's guys? Well, we've reached the finale of our Canadian adventure here in Northern Ontario. It's a sad day just because we're done fishing for the week. We've got everything packed up here on the dock. Got Dan finishing sweeping the cabin, mopping the floors. We've got beautiful Lake Beatty behind us here and just the Canadian wilderness. Such an awesome, awesome place to come and visit. Air Ivanhoe again, they do such a great job with these cabins and these flyouts. These lakes are premier 
pike and walleye lakes. They also have some smallmouth bass lakes that are premier as well. You guys need to get up here and fish some of these Canadian waters. They're just absolutely beautiful. Just make sure you do your research and you make sure that you schedule a trip far enough out to let those water temps rise back up. We typically come towards the end of June. We came the first week of June and they had a late spring. The late spring kind of bit us a little bit. You know, the water temps again, were in the high forties most of the week. Uh, we did get into the low fifties, probably mid fifties over at Oswald and, and here. The fish just weren't moving. They were very lethargic. I had a walleye eat yesterday, did chase a F-18, which was kind of a good sign, but we just ran out of time here. So hopefully in the next two or three weeks, this water will warm up and whoever's out here will do a banging job of catching pike or walleye because there's a ton of fish in here. So just to kind of recap, you know, for the week, uh, it was a difficult week, but it was fun. You know, you're up here fishing, so I can't complain really, aside from the fishing just being generally slow. I just want to show you guys a recap of the week here. We got our leaderboard. And on our leaderboard, we have essentially Ryan totals at the end of the week, a measly 22 pike and a measly two walleye. We have Dan with a measly 20 pike and Dan with zero walleye. Now losses, interesting enough, um, we had basically 15 losses and follows throughout the week. So that kind of tells you right there that the fish weren't really moving at all and they weren't really chasing baits yet. Jeez Louise, they weren't really chasing baits yet. So, you know, it's one of those things, but we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna get on the plane. We're gonna fly back to the lodge. We're gonna get some breakfast. We're gonna load the car up and we're gonna start our journey home. Flapjacks gone. Hmm? How was your breakfast? Very good. Very tasty. Mine was too. Ivanhoe River! Yeah, that's where we flew in from over there. There she is. There she is right there. Hey, beautiful. Hi! Oh, that's a bull. That is a bull. Hey, big boy. Hey, big boy. Hello there. Don't cross the road. Don't cross the road. Oh my goodness, this is sweet. <laughs> Definitely a lot. 